Hi everyone and um, we're going to continue looking at clearance here and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the clearance of a substance called inulin. Okay now inulin is this particular substance which is quite interesting because it's not filtered, uh, sorry it's freely filtered so it freely enters the glomerulus but it cannot be reabsorbed by the nephron and it cannot be secreted by the nephron. So therefore because inulin is freely filtered it means the volume per minute of inulin that actually enters the Bowman's capsule is equal to the amount of fluid that enters the Bowman's capsule every minute and we know the amount of fluid that enters the Bowman's every capsule every minute is the glomerular filtration rate. Now Therefore, if we can work out what the clearance of inulin is, the clearance of course being the volume that enters here, then we're going to be able to work out what GFR is equal to. Now inulin is a substance that we don't produce in our bodies, we have to inject it into a person and have it there for a period of time until the levels stabilise. So let's look at some numbers. Remember first the formula for clearance, the clearance of inulin in this case is equal to the concentration in the urine of inulin multiplied by the flow rate of our urine over the plasma concentration of inulin. Now the measuring of the urine concentration of inulin and the flow rate of our urine is very easy, we can just measure that and also our plasma concentration of urine can be maintained by a steady injection of urine into the body. And so what we're going to say is, is that our plasma concentration of inulin is equal to one milligram per mil, that's what we've stabilised it at and we can say that our urinary inulin concentration that we've measured, we've measured that to be equal to 60 milligrams per mil and also the urine flow rate, we've calculated that to be 2 mils per minute. Now if we substitute these values into the clearance equation we get a value of the urine concentration is 60 multiplied by the flow rate which is 2, so we've got mils per minute here, okay we've got of course milligrams per mil over the plasma concentration of inulin which as we look at that, that's 1 milligram per mil. So what we need to do now of course is to get rid of all the things, so we get milligram here, milligram here, per mil here, per mil here, so we have a value of 60 times 2, 120 mils per minute over 1, which therefore of course gives us a value of 120 mils per minute as being the clearance of inulin. So therefore by making this calculation and calculating the clearance of inulin, we now get a value for the volume of inulin that has been cleared from the plasma from here in the glomerular capillary every minute. Now going back to what I said in the previous um, part of this in part 1, again if we look here, here's the 750 mils of plasma that passes through the glomerular capillary every minute, here is our inulin here, we of course don't get rid of all of it, we get rid of some of it. How much do we clear? Well we clear this much, this value of it, which is equal to approximately 120 mils. So every minute 120 mils worth of inulin is cleared from the blood. So that is what the clearance of inulin is. And so therefore we can use inulin to calculate our glomerular filtration rate. All right, I'm going to give a couple of more calculations later, maybe not today but soon and we can look and see what happens when we have substances that are not reabsorbed but secreted or substances that are fully reabsorbed and we'll work out what the clearance of those substances is later.